This video shows the features of DTH101 and how to pair your smartphone with this device. This device includes receiver, sensor, adapter, and two wires for connecting to your cooling or heating device like fireplace or gas heater. If you need you can extend the two wires with same gauge wire as long as you want and also you can extend your sensor wire with 15 meter sensor wire extension too. First of all, you should download and install the EB Link app on your cell phone available on both Android Play Store in the name of EVLink and iOS App Store in the name of EVLink Smart Home Control. After installation, register an account with your email address, not by phone, and provide a password, enter email verification code to register and then log in with your account. I already did it. Now we will go to pair DTH101. Please consider following items before pairing. Firstly, make sure you are close enough to your Wi-Fi router and if you have VPN, remove it temporarily and make sure your router is Mac open. Also, if your Wi-Fi is 5G, change it to 2.4G temporarily uh, the app only pairs with 2.4G Wi-Fi, but you can change it to back 5G when pairing is successfully completed. If you couldn't change your Wi-Fi to 2.4G, please check our video on YouTube by searching DTH101 2.4G or call to your internet provider for helping. Make sure you will enter a correct Wi-Fi password and uh, username. When you enter the password, you need to make sure that there is no blank space after the password. Also consider all uppercase and lowercase characters. Be sure the sensor is tied to. Plug your DTH101 receiver. Wait from 10 seconds to three minutes for the unit to blink slowly. Yeah, it is blinking slowly like that. So it is ready for pairing. Press and hold the button of DTH101 for four to seven seconds. When the LED lights blinks three times and pause once repeatedly, like that, click on the plus icon and then you can release the button. Then select the first pairing method, quick pairing. Type your home Wi-Fi ID and password and click next. It takes uh, one to three minutes for DTH101 receiver to be paired with your phone and added to your account. Found the device. Registering. Okay, you can name the device on the app to complete the process. Like. Complete. Got it. When the blue LED is on and solid, the device is online like that. To make sure 
the app works correctly, you should hear a clicking sound when you turn the switch on off by your smartphone or manually by pressing the pairing button, like that. After pairing, the pairing button on the DTH-101 receiver can also operate as manual switch for turning the device on off. On, off, on, off. If the device doesn't pair after three minutes, please check following items and try it again. So let's check the features of this app. On off remote, like that. Turn on off and monitor your connected device from anywhere in the world or at home by your iOS or Android smartphone. As you can see, the, the temperature is 22, the humidity 27%. You can monitor it or control it. Professional timer. As you see, there is a schedule timer, loop timer schedule. Use a schedule on the app to turn your connected device on off at a specified times. You can define eight events on the app. Timer like a content timer. Or loop timer like in compton timer that's on off and on off again you can repeat it temperature or humidity control in auto mode you can monitor and control the real-time temperature or humidity like it is temperature I can set on humidity I'm going with temperature you can turn the connected device on off at a specified temperature or humidity range for controlling temperature we can use heating or cooling mode when it is lower than 72 uh, Fahrenheit it's gonna be the heater on so it is heating mode and if I put it higher than 72 it is cooling mode if it is more than 72 the mm, the cooler device is gonna be on in manual mode you can turn the connected device on off and this function can also be combined with timer too share control You can remotely control your connected device with multiple smartphones. Each device has a main user who can share the device with other people. By downloading the app on another sh smart home, you can easily add another remote to your household. Click the share and then click share with EV link account and then enter the email account that you want to share. The main user can also remotely add, modify, delete, or enable each additional user and their authorization. Voice control. You can go to main menu, the first page. In the right button side, you will see the person sign. Click on it. More. And as you see, there is Alexa Home, IFTT, and more. By clicking on each voice control system, it shows how to add your device to, the, to that system. For example, I already installed a Google Home. OK, Google. You said the magic words. What can I do for you? Turn on 
DTH-101. OK, turning DTH-101 on. OK, Google. Turn off DTH-101. Sure, turning off DTH-101. Setting. By clicking on setting sign at the top right corner of the app page, you will go to the setting. And there you can edit the name. And uh, you can check the update firmware version. It is the latest version. If it is not, you can update it. Turn the notification for operation on off. This option sends notification to your cell phone when your, you or shared person turn the connected device on off. Also, you can set the power on a state status at on off or keep we recommend that setting power on a state at off status for safety matters in case of power outage or when electricity cut off enable inching you can set the time the 10 seconds for example from half second until 360 seconds i put it 10. it is like a content timer that acts by second i turn it off temp unit you can select celsius or fahrenheit and history, you can check which shared user or when has turned the connected device on off from history.